what exactly are probiotics and why do we need them? The answer lies within the word itself. Pro means for, biotic means life. Probiotics are beneficial microorganisms or bacteria that naturally inhabit the human digestive system. There are also bad bacteria, but there is a natural balance between the good and the bad. The probiotic's primary function is to help digest and transform food into energy. Lactobacillus acidophilus is an especially important probiotic, and DDS-1 is the most extensively researched and highly regarded strain of acidophilus in the marketplace today. Uh, when I came to the University of Nebraska, two things drew my attention to Lactobacillus acidophilus. In the 1920s, some scientists here had already produced a milk product fermented with acidophilus. And secondly, I also discovered a book called Prolongation of Life, written around the turn of the century by a Russian scientist, Dr. Eli Mechenikov. Dr. Mechenikov had observed an increase in longevity among the Eastern European people who consumed large quantities of fermented foods, including yogurt-like products made from different kinds of milk, goat milk, sheep's milk, and so on. He felt that the lactic acid bacteria in these foods had something to do with the people's improved health and longevity. You know, Tolstoy, the great Russian writer, when he was in ill health, he used to go to the Sumaran plains and drink large quantities of kumis, a fermented mare's milk. This was called the kumis cure. All of this was very compelling, and I decided to study these lactic acid producing bacteria, the lactobacilli, the bifidobacteria, and the streptococci. Dr. Shahani collected a large number of these cultures from all over the world, focusing on Lactobacillus acidophilus, the predominant microorganism in the small intestine. Out of all the strains we had collected, one particular strain of Lactobacillus acidophilus grew much faster, appeared more stable, and produced larger quantities of natural antibiotic and B vitamins. We call this strain DDS1, which stands for the Department of Dairy Science number one strain. I spent the next 40 years at the University of Nebraska doing research work on the nutritional and therapeutic properties of DDS1. I found that these microorganisms were really amazing. Indeed, the beneficial properties of this strain of Lactobacillus acidophilus are numerous. It produces enzymes and B vitamins to help digest proteins, carbohydrates, and fats. It produces large quantities of folic acid, an essential factor in fetal development. It produces lactase, an enzyme that helps lactose intolerant people digest milk and milk products. The DDS-1 strain also produces large quantities of natural antibiotic, which improves gastrointestinal health by suppressing pathogenic bacteria. This in turn reduces the incidence of diarrhea, dysentery, and cholera, helps to minimize bad breath, and alleviates dermatological problems such as acne. By enhancing the metabolism of calcium, the DDS-1 strain helps to prevent osteoporosis, as well as inhibit the multiplication of cancerous cells. It also reduces the accumulation of cholesterol in the arteries, a factor in controlling heart disease. Perhaps most importantly, Dr. Shahani found that the DDS-1 strain of Lactobacillus acidophilus enhances the immune system which may be the fundamental factor operating in all of these beneficial and therapeutic properties. The natural antibiotic properties of DDS-1 are especially intriguing. We designed a method of isolating this antibiotic, which we named acidophilin. We found that it was extremely potent and very effective against several pathogenic bacteria like E. coli, Salmonella, Shigella, Staphylococcus, and various others. We took out a patent on that isolation process. Dr. Shahani has published over 200 scientific papers in peer-reviewed journals and has received numerous awards, including the Borden Award, the Dairy Research Award, and the Pfizer Award from the American Dairy Science Association. 
and was the youngest recipient to ever receive the Gamma Sigma Delta International Award for Distinguished Service to Agriculture. He also served on a committee of the World Health Organization of the United Nations for nine years. Around that time, health supplement manufacturers across the United States began to consult with me for the development of probiotic and enzyme supplements. Dr. Shahani developed a manufacturing process, still in use today, which produces an active, potent, and stable probiotic product. His first step was to develop a special broth-like medium of organic nutrients in which the culture could grow quickly and abundantly. Next, the culture is separated from the medium by centrifuge, creating a concentrated paste. For enumeration, each bacterium is grown into a separate colony, which is visible to the naked eye. A freeze-drying process is employed in order to be able to store the concentrated cultures. Special cryoprotective agents prevent the microorganisms from dying during the freezing. Subsequent long-term storage of the final product presented a special challenge to the stability of the product. There are four elements which are very detrimental to the survival of the culture cells. Heat, humidity, light, and oxygen. We developed a unique stabilizer to protect the organisms from these detrimental factors during shipping and storage. It consists of herbs, amino acids, vitamins, peptides, and reducing agents. Of course, the products still need to be refrigerated for long-term storage. Today, Nebraska Culture's probiotics are still produced according to Dr. Shahani's stringent standards, but on a much larger scale. Using his proprietary process, the cultures are grown, separated and concentrated, cryoprotected, freeze-dried, and stabilized, resulting in products of the highest quality, potency, stability, and taste. It should be noted that even the same strain of Lactobacillus acidophilus produced by different methods may very well have different properties. For example, bifidobacteria have been found to play a particularly important role in infant and young children's digestion. And Streptococcus faecium, now called Enterococcus faecium, has been shown to be very effective in the prevention of diarrhea. Probiotic supplements are taken orally in powder, encapsulated, or chewable form. All supplements should be taken at mealtime, since food, water, and warmth are vital for the microorganism's growth. Lactobacillus acidophilus has the ability to implant and reproduce itself in the small intestine. But Nebraska Culture's unique stabilizer contains ingredients which make the mucous membrane of the intestines more conducive to implantation. You know, under optimal conditions, DDS1 acidophilus multiplies every 20 minutes so that one single microorganism will become more than one million in less than seven hours. This is particularly important for those people undergoing antibiotic therapy in order to replenish the good bacteria killed by the antibiotic.